me ask you, as we look back on this year, 2015, there are lots of presentations at ESHRAE and here at ASRM and other conferences. Yes. What strikes you as having been the most important and impactful advances this year? Yeah, I think there are several um, impactful developments. One is the uh, greater emphasis now on the elective single embryo transfer. Two is on the area of time-lapse uh, morphokinetics assessment. And uh, also we're beginning to hear a little bit more on uh, PGS, pre-implantation genetic screening. And uh, a wider application on the role of uh, anti mullerian hormone. So I think these are about the uh, three or four areas that we hear quite a bit of in 2015. So there were lots of advances at the mater on the pater maternal side and on the embryo side. And you know, when I think about um, time lapse and I think about PGS, I think about really working on selecting the right embryo and that works towards yes. uh, selective uh, single yes. embryo transfer. Right. Um, and the AMH on the maternal side. So, so I think there's, there's really, uh, we have a bright future coming up. Yes. Um, does anything else strike you as uh, what you heard about this year? Any presentations that were really yes? Out I of think the park? beginning to hear a little bit more, and maybe then probably leads to next year. I think even more on the maternal side is on the endometrial receptivity. So I think identifying biomarkers which may help to select now the timing, proper better timing for embryo transfer. So now we're looking at that personalized medicine in fertility. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's funny, I was chatting with somebody earlier, it's sort of like personalized at the mother and personalized at the embryo. Level. That's right, that's right. Selecting the best embryo and uh, selecting the best time to transfer. I think that, that, would, be, that would be what we're going to hear increasingly uh, more of. And now looking at 2016 and the future, what do you hope to see coming out in research, in, in available techniques and technologies for the lab or, or the clinic? I would say it's more going to be a bit more personalized. Uh, more personalized in, in, in terms of individualization of stage stimulation. Then continuing the emphasis on selecting the best embryo and therefore selecting the best single embryo transfer to the uh, best environment. Again, you try in uh, receptivity assays. So I, th I think we're gonna see more refinement of these areas. So personalization, refinement, but I think we're in a good place. And, and so when you look back to when you started in right. this field, yes. it's completely different. Oh yes. So, so um, could you have ever predicted, if I would have asked you 15 years ago, single embryo transfer right. and, and testing of the embryos. Yes. Would you have ever thought that was possible? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think uh, we have come a long way. And I think uh, looking back 15, 20 years ago, I, I didn't imagine we would have come uh, this far. Well, always good to talk to you. And maybe when we sit together again next year, we'll say your predictions were right. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Lawrence. <laughs> always good to see you.